you've come a long ways on this thing. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm having trouble here, but I'm not hoping to have my... It's all good. My new tire's on here, but... Well, last time I saw this car, it was basically a bare frame. Yep. <laughs> Your four deluxe looks really good. You uh, you just work a regular shift, and then when and when you told me the other day you get off work at three, yeah. is that when your sh regular shift? Yeah, that's ends? when my shift ends. So but for, I, from now on, you're just on your own time. Yeah. I usually go home or do whatever, but if I'm making money, I keep working. Well, that's Most of the time, I don't get home until about 6, 7, 8 o'clock at night. Yeah. <laughs> but if I'm working and I ain't done, I'm with a couple calls all day, come uh -huh. 3 o'clock, I'm going home. I'm shutting the phones off, and I'm done. <laughs> yeah, that's, I don't know why that wheel hits the wrong bolt patterns. I'm going to call Jason and, and talk with him. And I got some... My new wheels and there those multiple holes where you right. fit anything. You know? Yeah, it's, it's off by like an eighth inch or a quarter inch. We Matching up on the... Could not get the darn thing to line up. Did you, you, you order those rims in from somewhere? Or? Well, yeah. Jason down Pete and Jake's down at, down at uh, Peculiar, Missouri. Right. They sell all the street rod stuff. Yeah, there's wheels that they sell all the time. You might have to go down and they might have to measure the bolt pattern of it. Well, it, it, you think it's just a basic... The rear end, but it's the other old tire is completely rotten, but if it'll hold air long enough to right. get, get, get it on the truck. Well, yeah, you've come a long ways. You told me you ain't done nothing to it, but <laughs> this thing's looking good. Yeah, open the got all brand new wiring on for I picked up me a project over the summer. Did you really? Yeah, I ran across an old boy that had a seventy-seven Corvette for sale. Oh my god. And he wanted eight he wanted seven grand for it. And I was like, Well, okay, I know a lot of people to be interested in them, they can't afford them, you know. He goes, Man, I just want seven grand. If somebody gave me two grand down and he paid pay me payments every month on it, I'd sell it to him. I said, Okay. I went right to the bank, got two grand and brought it back home over to him. Here you go. Did <laughs> it good shape? Oh yeah. It runs? Yeah. I messed it up though. What'd you do? I parked it in my driveway. Oh. Seriously, I parked it in the driveway and I didn't make room for it in the garage because it looked good coming home to see my, my vet, you know. <laughs> and here a while back, we had a real hard rain and I was like, oh man, that car's trashed on the you inside. Dust shit on it? Or? Well, no, it, it, it's got T-tops, so it rained. So I'm like, oh, the inside's flooded now, right? I go home after that hard rain, what, it was bone dry. I was like, kick ass. That's lucky. Kick Had ass. Huh? Has it been in the garage? No, been outside. Hmm. I was like, kick ass. But he had it kind of down in a... He had it underneath some trees and down at down, down the bottom of the hill a little bit. Turn that wheel again. Transmission? Transmission. I don't have any, any fluid in it. Yeah, oh. yeah and it's at an angle. It's just bare gears. So anyway, I get home. It was dry. I was like, good deal. So I didn't even worry about it putting it in the garage. The next day we had a real slow rain and I got home and the car had about that much water sitting in it. <laughs> so I had to tear all the interior and everything well, out of it. Bigger project than what <laughs> <laughs> Well the seats were all, the seats were good, but if you, you know them back Corvettes they got them in the back for adjustments, they're little bolt is, nuts. Is yours does it, yours have the battery behind the seat? Yeah. Yeah. The seats are junk. And I've been looking for seats and these people want more these people want too much money to rebuild seats. So I found me a set of seats out of a uh, uh, third, third, third generation Camaro I put in them. They all, just, they all, they're about the same like, yeah. for like 10 or 15 years. Yeah, I just got to, uh, I got to redo the track on it, but I'm still, I'm trying to find the seat belt. I don't know, there's enough Corvette guys out there. I've been oh, there. yeah. There's a barn somewhere. But, uh, but I, I told my old lady, I said, I bought this car. It can sit right here. It's mine. I'm not worried about if I ever get it going or not. It can sit right here. What engine did it? Yeah, it's got a 400 in it. Does it? It's not a factory motor. And it, it runs good. It's not It's not much horsepower, though. Uh oh. You jump down on it, it'll go. But he's like, man, I've had I've had Vegas faster than this thing, you know. But <laughs> looks for the looks. Yeah, it's black and silver, the uh, anniversary edition. Nice. You know, I've, mm -hmm. I've had this car for 40 years. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, I thought you'd already had this thing up and running and dragging it down the road. You know, I've... I've I do upholstery work, and I've got two decorators I work for. 
And they just keep me buried with work. Do they? Yeah, that's where my money comes from. It's there, you know, to spend on my car. Who painted it? Who painted it for you? Joe Flemington. He's a guy way out in the country, some little town. Huh. West of Harrisonville. Yeah, because last time I saw it, I took it down there. And I took yeah, it. We took it to the machine, the shop down there, and they sandblasted everything for you. Yeah. That was the last time I saw it. Oh, is that right? Yep. Well, I think you, I think you brought it home from the, from the body shop. Did I? Yeah. Yeah, you brought it home, like this. Was that on a farm? Uh huh. I might have. I yeah. don't remember. I just yeah. remember it being and in the show. It was painted. It was painted. It was yeah. pretty, you know, gutted and everything. You know. What year is this? Forty. 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 Yeah. This this is a big change for for Fords back then. This is the first year they went to um, column shift. Mm -hmm. Hydraulic brakes, a cow pen. They changed the wipers down on the cows. They used to be up on the roof that hung down and flopped uh -oh. away. They put them down on the cow. Is this sitting down on its own power? Yep. Huh. <laughs> Got some springs back there, do we? I said it looked like it's still jacked up. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was looking at. It looked like a drag car. Huh. Sorry for help. Well, that's all right. I appreciate your help. No problem. I'll see you around. All right. I think one of these days we'll see this thing. Hopefully, move the spring too. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I think I've got one too damn low with this thing too. You got what? I think I went too low with my front end. Yeah, I was gonna say she's sitting pretty, pretty down there a little ways. Yep. I got skates to get it in the air so we can get it up so we don't scratch it up, but. Yeah. Yeah, driving it around here. I'm gonna have a hard time getting in and out of my driveway. Yeah, I'm. I'm have. I'm saying you're probably gonna have to go up another inch or two with it. Yeah, I might get this thing back up. I don't know what to think about them damn wheels. Damn. Well, I'll move my. So the front. It fit on the front, but they wouldn't fit on the back, huh? The wheels. No, that they're they're made for the rear. Big power, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. There's just a hair off, huh? Yep. You're probably going to have to take this thing down and let them measure them up. And well, I'm going to have to take them back to uh, or, or, or the Jake's for a bottom. And does this have the original rear end in it, or did you yeah. put something different in it? No, same rear end. Huh. That same bolt pattern, they use it for mm -hmm. years. They even used it on Ford pickups. Mm -hmm. They have forever. Well, when you get it back here to the house or whatever, nothing else, you might take tire out, take one of the rims off of it, and take it with you. Something so that way they can measure them up. Mm -hmm. Huh, that's weird. Well, it is. Well, I see you still got the PT Cruiser. Yep. This kind of sits right there. <laughs> yeah. That little car would do my family a lot of justice. Yeah. They're good little cars. Well, they, se they seem to be. That one's an 03, and it's only got uh, 20,000 miles on it. My wife was asking me yesterday, she goes, well, I want a P2 Cruiser. I'm like, good luck finding one. Yeah. People don't want to come off of them. I don't know, I don't know what planes they're on or what the, the main body is. I couldn't tell you either. Just, but I know, they're, I know they're good little cars. They seem to be. As long as you take care of them, you know. Yeah, I've actually looked for a couple. I've actually went and looked at a couple PT Cruisers for and they were just ragged out junk. I'm like, I'm like, I'm not dealing with that. They do. Mm -hmm. They just, they don't take care of them. They just, they drive them like they're meant to be driven. Just to yeah. run around town, man. You know. Yeah, a little know, family I thing. Go, I have a brother and sister down around Wichita. I go down to see them all the time. That thing just cruises right on. The oh yeah. And just, and, and then I mean, just they don't whip around. No. Just straight as a bullet. I said it'd be a nice vehicle to have. <laughs> all right. Well, let me back this thing up in here.
Start breaking our back. Can I pull that thing? Okay. I guess right there around that frame would be the best place to go to. You stayed original with the small the old, the old, the old motor in it, didn't you? Yep. I like the old original flathead. I figured you would have changed your mind. I know. I'm pretty hard hit about that. That bad boy is about ready to fire off, isn't it? That's what we're going to do. I got I got to have a rewired. I got brand new wiring harness for it. Mike told me he said before we do anything, he said we're gonna start that motor. Yeah. I had that engine rebuilt. Let's go ahead and pull it out here. Thirty-five years or so ago. I ain't been started in that long. Yeah. Best thing to do is fire up that motor. Make sure she's right first. Yes, sir. All right. Let me pull this thing out here a little bit. We'll stop about right here somewhere, and then I'll bring out my skate so we can skate it up on here. Because I got some feeling it's going to come off and it's going to slam right into the bed. turning on us. Is the steering wheel hooked up? Yep. Yeah. As soon as I pulled it, it started going this way real bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, trying to. Alrighty. Matter of fact, I think I'm just going to pull it off by hand. That way we can control it a little bit here. Right. Turn the wheels that way just a little bit. A little bit more. Shit. You got a hold of it for a second? Yeah. You got to move this other skid around. Alright, you can let her go. Let her come on off. Alrighty. Now the back's in the air pretty good ways, ain't it?
Do you know the fender on the front fender on that side actually sits lower to the ground than this side does? Didn't notice it until you got ready up on the bed and it's just, it's just like this. Yeah, the way that the way the tire set up in that fender, yeah, you definitely had to get that front end in the air just a tad bit more. You see, going around the curve and turn that wheel and buckle the fender up. All right. See, that would probably adjust out a little bit once you put that front end together. Yep. See, it'd be all right if we lived somewhere where the roads were real smooth and perfect, but we don't have that around here. Probably back the truck up to it and drop it in there, probably. Yeah, you get, you get pretty close. Uh, you're probably going to have to back into his driveway off of uh, 195th Street. It's a long drive, but once you get up to his shop, it makes a turn and it's all it's open pasture and stuff. But with all this rain we have, I was talking to him the other day and I told him about your truck and he's well. He said, as soft that ground is, he said, I'd rather you didn't drive out on that ground. We can, we can, back, we can back up right there. Yeah. Of course, it's damn tires, too, but I don't think these tires are even the same size in the back. That may be why this thing is hitting through. Yeah, because you can look at all my truck, and she's got a hell of a rake going on.
Oh, put those in your pocket. Yeah. Don't want to lose them, Dave, boys. <laughs> Did he see you? Yeah. Oh, got him? Yep. What year is this thing? Well, folks, today we have a 1940 Ford Deluxe. This old boy's owned this car for many, many, many years, and he's starting to redo her. Still got the old flathead V8 in it that he rebuilt years ago. And then he just parked the car, never did anything else with it. And for the last year or so, he's been working on a couple years, I'm sorry. I came over and got it after he stripped it down, took it out and had it sandblasted, brought it back and did all the body work. And then I towed it out to a shop for him and the guy painted it. Well, it's been a few months ago and you see he just about got it all back together now. He's still got to do the interior work and stuff on it. Now we're going to take it out to another shop. Because it's been about 10 years, 15 years ago when he rebuilt that motor and it's just been setting. And this is an older gentleman, so, you know, he just don't have time to jack with it, so he's taking it out to a buddy has that does these for a living. So he's got this car looking beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That beautiful black paint, man, it just shines. how beautiful she is. Yep. He doesn't know where Mike's at or where he lives at out in the country or he, we just go on he'd come out there but he has no idea where we're going. Who's that? My son-in-law. Oh. He's going to have Sorry, to. I had to come over and admire her. That was one beautiful car. I'm man. telling you. That is, that's a, I seen you pulling in. I was like, oh, he's pulling the car out. I got to, I got to be nosy. Oh, sure. That's beautiful. Sir, can I have a Miller number, please? Thirty-two fifty. 
1940 Ford Coupe. The one from her taken from here in Belton to Belton. Her peculiar somewhere. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yep. Bye. Do you know what the address is that we're taking us to over there? No. Uh -uh. <laughs> no. I want to know it's on, on 195th Street. It's all good. We'll get it when I get there. That way I can tell dispatch. Yeah. Can I have your name again? Jim Sistrom. S-I-S-T-R-U-N-K. Like Trump. Do me a favor, Mr. Jim, let's find your life boy for me. <laughs> yeah, see, i got to get one of these leaf springs here for my car, too, at the house. It sags real low to the ground. Uh -huh. And see, the other reason why this thing's sitting in the air so high pop because there ain't no weight in it. Yeah. It's just a body. I mean, you ain't got seats or interior, nothing that's weighted down any. Yeah, no gas in the tank or anything. That old bed of mine sits like this. It does. <laughs> the spring's worn out. <laughs> Did you buy a new spring for this, or did you have that one re-art? No, that's, that's the original spring. Is it really? Yeah. I no ends in the tank to make sense, but they had just lifted the front part of the thing, cut cross handles out of it, and everything. I couldn't even use it, and I found this thing. I see what you mean by your drag links down there, almost touching the ground. Yeah. Well, folks, today we have a 1940 Ford Deluxe. This old boy's owned this car for many, many, many years, and he's starting to redo her. Still got the old flathead V8 in it. That he rebuilt years ago and then he just parked the car never did anything else with it and for the last year or so he's been working on a couple years i'm sorry i came over and got it after he stripped it down took it out and had it sandblasted he brought it back and did all the body work and then i told it out to a shop for him and the guy painted it well it's been a few months ago and you see he just about got it all back together now he's still got to do the interior work and stuff on it now we're going to take it out to another shop because it's been about 10 years, 15 years ago when he rebuilt that motor and it's just been setting. And this is an older gentleman, so, you know, he just don't have time to jack with it, so he's taking it out to a buddy has that does these for a living. But he's got this car looking beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That beautiful black paint, man, it just shines. Look how beautiful she is. Yep. You don't have the emergency brake locked up on this thing, do you? I think it, I think it went into gear or something, other. Oh, did not turn. Was that wheel turning over there? Uh uh. Okay. Yeah. So, let me put a little tension on this cable before we mess with this. Yeah. Well, it rolled right out of the car, out of the garage. I know rolled forward just now. Well, they probably give it a little bit, but yeah. What it could be is the more drums could be locking up. It might be. Because we pulled them forward and going backward. But. 
Do you feel like it's in neutral? I can't tell. Yeah. All it is, I'm just playing with the shipping lever, and I, and I was trying to move it in the garage, and I couldn't, and I kept playing with my shifting levers, and I thought I got it into neutral. Well, if you hold the clutch in, that should still let it roll off the trailer, yep. right? That was, it should be. I'll try that. Yeah. All right, you want to hold it in? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, it's in gear. It was rolling. All right. Let me bring it back down a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, I don't understand. You already blew the tire. I don't know why we can't just drive it. All right, watch yourself. Here we go. Real slow. Push it off. All right. A little bit more, bud. There you go. They don't think I thought we tore anything up, but I'm glad these things ain't on the solid. Yeah. What was hitting the bottom part of the fender there? Yeah, this one little corner right here touched. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, no, 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 because it came back off the ramp. Yeah, it came back forward. I was like, how the hell's it coming back off? <laughs> but I don't think we need to do anything, so I'm happy. I don't want to tear up your car. Well, the you did to that back tire. I'm going to tell you, you get this thing running, boy, and let me take it for a drive. But it's weird how it rolled out of the garage, though. I know it. Because I didn't hear it. But I wasn't paying attention to the back tires, either. Could have been dragging, Avery. It could have been dragging. We just didn't know. I hadn't thought about that. Because you probably yeah. backed all the way up to the doors? Or pretty, uh, close. pretty close to it, and with that bad tire on it. Yeah. You know, and there's no weight back there, so we never would hear it. Yeah, it might have just drunk it off, but I could have swore it rolled out because it actually came up over the skates and everything. Oh, huh? But it could be, it could be in like a third of high gear too. Yeah. Where there ain't no, and you know, that if it's in high gear, it'd roll pretty easy forward. But backwards, a whole nother story because then everything's trying to go against itself. Well, I know before you guys hit that starter, you'll make sure you got that thing in some kind of neutral <laughs> or got that ass in in the air. I don't think I've heard of no flathead run since I was a kid. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. 
Yeah. I mean, I had to be a young kid. Right. Well, how long ago did you say you rebuilt that motor? Years. It's been sitting all this time. Well, I'm sure it's probably good. Well, as long as you didn't build it when you were drunk. Well, <laughs> oh, yeah. I love. I love. Them. I love them when I find them. It's a challenge. I have a lot of fun with them. Take the plugs out up, put a little, little grease or oil down in the holes just to make sure the pistons are lubricated good. That's the only thing you really got to worry about when you turn the motor over and start in years of rain. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's what they say in all my books, that that's the most important time. Do you know the stuff I like to use? It's chain lube for that's like right. bicycle chains. Because when you spray it on, like WD-40, you spray it on something, it runs off. Uh, chain lube goes on stuff and it kind of bubbles up and soaks. And it ain't gonna hurt none, it's grease. Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> what I like to use. Oil. Do I? True oil. Yeah. 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 That stuff's a good penetrating oil. Like right. That's one of the things if you shot it in there, it would it would go down in. It yeah. It would go down in around the rings and, and that's why that's why that's why yeah. chain lube is, because yeah. it just starts turns just bubbles up and soaks. Yeah. I use it on this truck all day long. Every day. All the cables, the bed sliding, the ratchets, everything. If not, every time I go use a truck, it'd make all that weird noise. All right, Mr. Jim, I'm just going to charge you a flat flea of $1,000. That's wonderful. <laughs> no. I'll just charge our hookup fee, since we didn't really go anywhere with it. Well, I appreciate it. Just 65 bucks, bud. Okay. I appreciate you hanging around waiting for me. Oh, it's all good. I'd do anything for Mr. Jim. <laughs> this was the 18th minute. And when you get that thing running, if you're scared to take it for a test drive, let me know. Yeah. No, that's I'll come and do her. I don't care. <laughs> I've actually, I've actually met a couple guys that rebuilt their car and they were afraid to drive it. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, if you think about it, you tore it all the way down, you put it all together, but if you miss something, your mind's thinking that way, you know? Yeah. So I'll come drive it. Well, pretty much build airplanes, and then uh, that's real common. You, oh, yeah. You, you get it, you're afraid, you know, not to mention all the rigging, everything's, is it going to fly straight? If the whole different mm -hmm. ball game, you'll be at the ground. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of guys that buy, he builds aircraft and designs and builds them, and he's got a buddy of his, he's forever been his test pilot.